Hi, I'm Joe DiMatteo of the Ask the Pharmacist group. Thanks for joining us on another one of our Health Minutes. Lonely? Depressed? You say, no, I'm not. I don't know. I don't think I am. Well, do you binge watch TV? Let me read you this article. Internal Communication Association, um, through one of their journals, picked up an article from the University of Texas at Austin and looked at the amount of television that was watched. They found that the more the lonely and the depressed uh, study participants were, the more likely they were to binge watch TV. Just keep going through episodes, just keep hitting the clicker, going to another station to find something else, just watching hours of TV during the course of the day and at night. What they found is using this activity to move away from the negative feelings that they experienced internally. It says they lacked the ability to control themselves. They were more likely to binge watch, unable to stop clicking to the next event or the next program. For example, people who engage in addictive behaviors tend to temporarily forget the reality that involves their loneliness and depression the individuals lack self-regulation. It's likely to influence more and more their addictive behaviors. Hence, we just continue to watch TV. We kind of get drowned in this whole area where I don't have to deal with and confront. Why? Because I'm lonely, because I'm depressed, because I'm down. I don't believe in myself. I have poor self-image. No one likes me, right? The list goes on. Physical fatigue and problems such as obesity and other health problems are related to binge-watching they are a cause for significant concern. When binge watching becomes rampant, viewers may start to ne neglect work, relationships, things that are very important to them. I have a little bit of a, an answer for you, I believe. Psalm 139, and I think this is important. So verses 1 through 6 talk about how God knows you and cares for you. Let me just read this. You have searched me, O Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit, you know when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out, my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word was on my tongue, you knew it completely. You hem me in on both sides, and you lay your hand upon, upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. We often feel underappreciated, overlooked, depressed, lonely, and I don't know that the answers are in just watching TV or getting involved in some activity. I believe it starts with understanding who we are, who we are loved by, and what we gain our self-image from. It's not from TV. It's not in this parallel world that we see and we live in, this horizontal aspect. It's got to come from our vertical relationship with our Heavenly Father. Thanks for being with us, and I'll see you on our next videocast. See you then.